Hello Pasadena, I'm Erin with the Pasadena Chamber of Commerce and I am so excited to tell you about one of our new initiatives, Members Helping Members. Since the COVID-19 crisis, many Pasadena Chamber members have come together and supported one another in very creative and beneficial ways. Members of the Pasadena Chamber have actually offered to sponsor other Pasadena Chamber memberships of other members for one whole year so that they can continue to take advantage of the fantastic benefits that the Pasadena Chamber provides without having to worry about the dues for 2020. I'm so excited to show you these next few clips where I actually got to go on site sometimes do a Zoom meeting, but surprise the members and let them know that their membership has been taken care of for a whole year. So check it out. Hey Pasadena, it's Erin Webb with the Pasadena Chamber of Commerce. And we're out here today at the Pasadena Livestock Show in Rodeo with our friend, Miss Sherry Free. Hi, and I everybody. asked her, <laughs> yes, hello. I asked her if we could come by because we had a very special surprise for her today. So what I want to tell you today, Sherry, is that we started an initiative, um, I would say about a month ago, Corona hit and it's affected everybody differently and our job at the Chamber is, you know, we've been trying to see how we can help, how we can work with our members and, and you know, we've been doing food drives and we've been helping out the seniors at Pasadena ISD, but working with some of our members, we came up with Members Helping Members. So today I'm here to tell you that one of your fellow Pasadena Chamber members has decided to pay your membership dues for 2020. So, oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> so we are um, here to let you know that you don't you don't have to pay your dues this year because it's taken care of for you. Oh. So I know, you know, earlier you were telling me that there's a kind of a cool story about the chamber and the rodeo. So the rodeo started in 1949 by five Pasadena businessmen that were involved with Rotary and the Chamber. So um, the Chamber has very long roots in Pasadena Livestock Show and Rodeo. Probably about in the 70s is when it kind of separated off into two separate businesses. But the Chamber's been with us for a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, it's, uh, I'm not going to tell you who it is because it's anonymous, but if there's anything you want to say to this fellow member, go right ahead. Well, thank you so much, and I wish that you weren't anonymous. I wish I could thank you personally because that's exciting, and I I'm so grateful for everything you've done. Thank you, Sherry, and thank you to the Pasadena Livestock Show and Rodeo. Hello. What's going on? Is everything okay? It is. So listen, um, you know, as a part of just everything going on in the community with the community relief efforts and seeing businesses step up all over who are wanting to try to meet the needs in, in the community, um, uh, you know, people are reaching out and just want to, um, you know, spread positivity and um, show that Pasadena businesses care. And so um, a, an anonymous small business owner recognizes um, everything that you have continued to do in the community and wants to take care of your 2020 dues um, as a chamber member because they appreciate you. And so what? I wanted to call and just tell you that um, we okay. appreciate you and um, other oh people God. appreciate you. And so um, oh and it God. doesn't go unnoticed. And so your dues are taken care of for this year and um, well of course you're serious you're not joking oh my um, god yeah i was about to pay my next payment for my due at the end of the week when i got my um payment you know whatever else so yes. this is amazing christina oh my god thank you and so they want to remain anonymous obviously so i can't thank, thank you that <laughs> Wow, that's thank just. Thank you. Um, oh so my God, keep, that's just. Keep those thanks. funds and don't write us a check and know that, you know, I think it's super, um, we're super fortunate to live in a community of people that care so much and people that want to bless other people. And so all of your hard work that you do for Pasadena and all the nonprofits you support and the ways that you support the people around you. And um, I know your business has also um, been taking a hit and yeah. things have slowed down. And so um, this is just one small blessing. Yeah. I was going to lose about, I knew probably by the end of this month or the, even the beginning of this, middle of this month, I was going to lose 75% of my income. Mm. And 
and this came through for me and it's going to be a big relief for the hotel owners as well yeah. because they didn't want to lose me but if they not getting the business you know what that's going on so it's just kind of yeah. like so this is going to add to my relief well thank you please Woo. thank you to whoever and thank you to you all i miss you guys so much i cannot freaking wait to go back to seeing Normal. everybody normal this well we didn't do anything problems. this wasn't about well, somebody saying who do you want to help this yeah. was a hundred percent somebody contacting us about you specifically for what you do in our community and so don't That's kill true. yourself trying to figure out who it is and receive it as a gift <laughs> like you know um, me too well christina <laughs> i know um and so the rest of the team is in here so i told them to listen so they want to say hi as well so y'all come say hi um because we all just appreciate you and want to help celebrate all of this news. So, yay! Thank you all so much, you guys. Well, I know, well, who have been. Well, enjoy that good news and know that we appreciate you and all that you do. And um, we know that um, it doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you all so much. Sending you all lots of love and a big hug and stay safe. Same to you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Hey, Pasadena friends. It's Erin Webb with the Pasadena Chamber back again. Um, we told you a little bit already about members helping members, and I'm excited to be at my next stop today with Merlene Staley at the Pasadena Strawberry Festival. And we know this year has just not been great for you guys. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. But we're going to keep going and keep going. We're going to just make it. <laughs> I know. You You have the best attitude and the most beautiful smile. And Aww, thank Oh, thank you. And I know this year has not been what you thought it was going to be. So I'm coming to you today to tell you what someone wanted to do for you. We've, we had one member reach out to us and he was like, I've been seeing someone in the community that's really been helping and I want to pay for his membership. Okay, well we surprised him. Well then three more members stepped up and were like, well I want to do that too. So today you're the recipient of a full year of your Pasadena Chamber membership. You don't have to pay us because your membership. Woo! Yay! <laughs> wow, that is so great. Oh, oh my goodness, whoever you are, we love you. We love you very much. Thank you. She always loves you very much. <laughs> So y'all have been members, not only members with the Pasadena Chamber for a long time, but y'all are active. I mean, you come to everything, um, you use your benefits, your, especially your social media marketing. So, you know, we just want you to continue doing yes, that I am. and keep using it and not worry about having to write that check and just enjoy the benefits for uh, the next this year. Is, this is awesome. <laughs> yes, because it has taken a toll. And so this helps. So we are very, very thankful. Whoever you are, we love you. Thank you so much. And we love the Chamber. Members helping members. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Hey everyone, I'm Erin Webb with the Chamber and we're back at another stop today to give some of our members a fun surprise. Um, right now we're with Greg Brown and Julie Owen at the Pasadena Little Theater and they don't know what I'm about to tell them but I have a surprise for you guys today. Okay. Um, we right. have, you know, throughout this COVID crisis it's been just crazy for all of our members and, you know, the way that it's impacted their businesses and jobs and what they've done. And so a group of people got together and said, we want to help. We're in, we're in a position to help. And how can we help? And, you know, one of the ways that they came up with was to pay for another uh, chamber member's membership. So today, you guys are the recipient of your dues for a year being paid uh, for your chamber membership. So, wow. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Oh, that's great. I, you know, I know it's, it's not a lot, but every little oh. bit helps. Oh, it helps oh, us a lot. lot. <laughs> and I know that you guys, you know, use your chamber memberships, especially, you know, during when the theater season is active. You guys are we're always promoting on your social media and right. promoting all your shows. So is there anything you want to say or how is this going to help you? Well, all I can say is this helped us tremendously. Because of COVID and like so many other businesses and nonprofits, uh, we basically aren't creating any revenue currently. We had to cancel the first show of the season. We tried to do the second show but had such restricted seating and had to completely cancel the third weekend because of a COVID uptick. We had to cancel our Young Actors Workshop, which is 
a huge Raise source money. of revenue for us for the year. It generally gets us through the shows that aren't as popular as others until we hit Christmas. Um, we've had to cancel our productions through November. Postpone. Postpone, not yeah. cancel. We are not canceling. We're just postponing. Actually, we're going to flip them into next year and the same time slot. So they'll still be seen just... When? Not this year, not this year. Just to postpone it is all we're doing. We are hoping that we will be able to go with our Christmas show. Um, it's hilarious. I think everybody in Pasadena will want to see something that's fun and hilarious at Christmas. And Christmas is always a big, big winner for us. So we're hoping that we'll be able to do that. Plus, I get to direct it, so hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of partial to it. Uh, paying this means to whomever did it, God bless you. We are so happy. We're pension pennies. So thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah, um, as Julie said, we've had to postpone most of our season, beginning of our season through the fall. We'll reassess in October where we stand with the pandemic going on whether we can continue on in December. Yes. Hopefully we can and finish out the rest of the season without making any other changes. Um, right now we're looking at what other areas we can make cuts around here to save expenses. Um, I mean, we are cutting back on our electricity by not being here with rehearsals right. or productions. You know, all of our utilities will go down lower, but of course we still have air conditioning on. Even high. High. But, um, just so we don't, you know, burn it up or freeze it out when we do turn it on again. Um, we're planning some virtual stuff that Greg can tell you right. about. That we, we hope will re generate some right. revenue for us. We're looking at... Um, both free and charge uh, virtual events, um, such as acting classes that can be done one-on-one, -on -one, um, coaching, those would be charged. Um, we're also looking at like play readings and so forth that wouldn't be, but at least keep our name out there for the community. Um, looking at also maybe like a drive-by barbecue or drive-in bingo, um, a drive-in DJ where everybody comes to the theater, stays in their cars in the dr parking lot just like a drive-in, but where you turn on your radio and the DJ that is live will be playing their music. Um, that would be charged. Also, like the, we might do like a drive-in movie. Movie would be free, but concessions, of course, would uh, be charged. So we're looking at a lot of different things where we can keep our eyes out in the community and also bring in some revenue um, because we don't the expenses are <laughs> expenses are high <laughs> and the amount of income even then that will generate may not cover everything but at least it will help. We also um, are blessed with patrons that donate to our theater to support us. Right. Um, We've got an annual fund going on that we had high hopes for, but now our hopes are being lowered. <laughs> Just right. any any donation yes. helps us. And this donation helps us a lot because right. there was no way we were going to let this yes, ship yeah. lapse. And uh, this helped us pinch a few left yeah. pennies. <laughs> and thank you, whoever you are. <laughs> Well, Greg and Julie, thank you so much for letting us come thank by you. and surprise you. We're distant yeah. back here. So <laughs> We're good. <laughs> you know, we at the Chamber, we appreciate what you do for the community. And I'm actually on set here, so I feel like I'm in a show. So <laughs> when they're back, you guys, make sure you support them. Go follow them on social media, Pasadena Little Theater. Um, and God bless you. And we'll be praying that the, that the season... Yes kicks back off for you guys and Thanks. we're so happy that we're able to do this for you so thank you for what you do for our community thank, thank you. you so much wasn't it amazing to see our members helping other members if you're interested in sponsoring a member and seeing that excitement on their face please contact us here at the Pasadena Chamber of Commerce at 281-487-7871 or visit the website listed below